There he is, the big man Josie Altidore, front and center outside BMO Field ahead of Saturday's MLS Cup final and some good news pertaining to the striker come Tuesday. Gareth Wheeler with you. It's been the news we have all been waiting for. Josie Altador back in training. That's exactly what head coach Greg Vanny confirmed today. This is a special Toronto FC HQ presented by Kia. And Altador said it after the second leg against the Columbus crew. He was going to play in the MLS Cup final no matter what. Yes, he continues to deal with an ankle injury, but it looks full steam ahead in terms of his prepara preparations for MLS Cup. Here is head coach Greg Vanny. Obviously a few days away, so just increasing the test uh, for him to see how he feels each day and uh, positive signs today, and we'll take another step forward tomorrow. Did he participate fully with training, or was it kind of his own side deal that he was doing up there? No, he participated through a certain portion of training. He got through what our expectation was and what we wanted. He felt great, and uh, you know, like I said, tomorrow we'll take it up a little bit more, and we'll keep building until we get to, to Saturday. At this point, is it pain-free, or is it <coughs> more, so, more so just like in an annoyance in his, his ankle? No, I mean, I don't know that uh, it's 100% pain-free, but he, he is he's not necessarily limited by pain, which is a good sign, right? And so, um, you know, hopefully that will continue to progress over the next few days, and he just has to be in a position, you know, come Saturday that, that he can play uh, comfortably <coughs> enough to, to get after it, and uh, so far we're making good progress in that. Altidore has been such a big player for Toronto FC all season long. He was the team's second leading scorer with 15 goals and of course added the one that mattered most, the goal that sent Toronto FC back to the MLS Cup final, hobbled down but not out, scoring in the 60th minute in the second leg against the Columbus crew. Now he left that game in the 68th minute, leading to questions whether he will be able to play on Saturday. And it looks like the team will still proceed with a little bit of caution, but Altidore, no matter what, will be good to go for Saturday's final. And it just gives a huge lift to the entire team. Altidore's contributions recognized throughout the squad. Here's goalkeeper Alex Mono. Obviously, it's encouraging to see him back out on the field, uh, encouraging to see him working on it and, and kind of working out the kinks and, and on his way uh, back to hopefully 100%. Altidore's importance cannot be understated. He's done so much to help this Toronto FC team to the record season that has been. His hold-up play, phenomenal. The assists, the goals, and it was all a product of staying healthy. It would have been a shame if he wasn't able to make the final, but that doesn't seem to be a worry any longer. It's kind of startling considering how good Altidore has been, that he wasn't in the top eight in terms of MLS MVP voting. Three other Toronto FC players were, however, Sebastian Javinko, Michael Bradley, and Victor Vasquez all part of that conversation. And all four players will be front and center for this Saturday's final against Seattle. It's a beautiful Tuesday. It's about 9 degrees, but the weather is dropping. Temperatures will drop about 10 degrees Celsius by Saturday's kickoff. So bundle up. Get ready for it. Embrace the quintessentially Canadian elements. There will be a viewing party if you can't get in, if you don't have your tickets already, the MLS Cup final, because it is sold out. The viewing party taking place just across the railroad tracks, just that way, in Liberty Village on the corner of East Liberty and Atlantic, right outside of local bar. You want to get there early. You want to be part of this memorable experience as MLS Cup back in Toronto. It's a 4 p.m kickoff on Saturday.